Hello. Right, the uh, the plan was changed. Um, I think I don't know if it's really a plan. Whatever. Um, Monday morning. Well, only just. It's nearly lunchtime. Um, the dropped in Zebrush uh, Saturday morning, and I was told to come to here to take my break because they thought there might be a trailer out of here to go to Ghent this morning but apparently that has changed so now I am told to head back for um, Zebruge and I'll get a plan from there so that's what I'll do so a couple hours later uh, was Two and a half hours later, um, or no more. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, um, what you call it? Yeah, I'm here. I am. I was waiting for details to come through and whatever. Um, I am in the queue to go into uh, Finn Lines in Zeebrugge to pick up a trailer and. Then I'm waiting for more details on an address to go to to pick up a some kind of a pass card or something. So um, when I check in here, I will uh, give you more info for the moment that there if I zoom how do you work the zoom there's probably a better way of working the zoom on this but I don't know what 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 am I looking at yes that fair size of a container ship um, I'd know is it the full size triple E but it, it is one of the bigger ones anyway can't see the name of it from here. So right, I'll uh, put you up there, ready for when I get through check in here. Okay, so the trailer number wasn't showing up in his system, but he said check. B5 just in case. Alright, seatbelt will shut that up. So B5. getting used to this spot now even though it's still very badly signed and whatever but at least I know that B5 is the yard just up here Five. 
and the trailer I'm looking for I should be able to see easy enough from a distance but I don't think it's here see it's a different type of trailer that I'm looking for be easy enough to spot an empty container trailer around here so yes um, as I said slightly different work um, doing container work this still be five or not but sure we'll have a look around anyway Just check over by the boat just in case. is right it's not there but I will um, I will check in case they've given me the wrong trailer number and that is the, is the 354 
because it is a uh, ginseng skelly I'm supposed to be picking up. I do know that. And that was the ginseng skelly. Bumper. Just in case it was dropped here when they brought it off the ship. Yeah, not here. So I better go make a phone call. No, no sign of it. Right, I'll go make a phone call and talk to you later. Right, nice shiny lorry. Um, so this is a container trailer. This is what's called a ginseng. So I 
let's heat it for a bit more So it works anyway. Uh, that is a gin set for running the reefer container, which I am picking up tomorrow. Uh, all looks good there. Lights are working. That's okay. Let's see when the um Still one airbag not set right. That's it, all good now. Diesel, diesel gauge is showing full. Yes, full of diesel. That's pressed in. Right. Now these. That is. You just pull that like that, and when the container's on, I assume so. I don't know. I never, never used them type before. But no, number plate. Number plate. Leaving my high vis on because I just must go into your man and tell him that I'm taking this trailer. Because it was a different trailer, I said on the way in. Right, so. Uh, yeah, never used it. I've seen them before, but never used a trailer with that type of um, lock on the front before. So uh, I only ever use the ordinary standard twist locks. So that's all that.
Price. Heading for Antwerp. Um, have an address there for a place to pick up the um, the pass card or whatever I need to get into port and um, it's out of Antwerp the container will be coming so um, I'll see if I can park up there tonight if not I'll head out to Mir which is maybe 20 minutes out the road so uh, yeah, these are containers. Um, I know that I say it, I was asked to do them before as well. They're um, containers coming in from America to um, they come into Ireland or into Antwerp and then they, um, they should but I'd be. be um, shipped on from Antwerp to Ireland but they are um, whatever product it is they're, they're afraid it, they'd be if they were short shipped or anything like that is a um, good origin product or whatever so it is uh, more reliable to um, bring them in by road um, so I think there's two of them. Well, when I was told about this the other day, I was told I think there are two of them coming in. Um, a lift axle on a tractor trailer, which is a big, heavy brute of a trailer, but I never saw one with a lift axle before. But anyway, um, I think there are two of them. One is going by road, and or sorry, one is going on the direct boat, and one is going transiting the UK. Um, I have no issue. I have no info yet as to which one I'm getting. Don't doesn't bother me. Either way. Um, Is, um, yeah, it makes no difference either way. So, um, that's about it, really. to take the chance of it being short shipped or, yeah, they don't want to take the chance of it being short shipped or something so um, they're going for bringing it in my road notice something different change is always nice Stayed in Mir last night at my 11 off. Back into here this morning. Um, there was no parking around here last night. The oh, the there's a service, well, a small service station behind me, and all the space and that were gone. And I don't know whether you're allowed to park elsewhere around here or not 
So went out to Mir and back in this morning. In 500 meters, keep right on St. Antonius Way. I think I might need to get in there somewhere to my right. In two kilometers, enter the roundabout. Really, I have to wait for the bridge to drop first. ship to pass I don't see any ship coming almost begun true the, bri the bridge is dropping And no, that wasn't the building I need to go to. I think I will be getting a container from over there to the right. But I must call to a building over here on the left. To get that pass card I was on about. So, I will talk to you then. Let you watch the bridge go down.
Ay, la mueve. Right. I'll get there eventually. Um, I have my Alpha Pass sort and whatever. But I went into the wrong um, terminal place. Well, I went in to uh, terminal below here and it said my um, training had expired or whatever, but I went back in to where I got the Alpha Pass and there was a, a machine where you went through a kind of an induction video thing. Um, sorted that and came back out then and I thought I was coming up to here but no uh, I'll go into the spot where I went the first time so um, I have the bracket put in the outside of the door so that I can click the camera on there um, when I'm getting the when I'm getting the container on so I can show you that so because the bracket is there I can't point you out to screen at the moment um, because it's not just simple of changing the bracket I have to change a piece on it or whatever take it apart basically and put this piece on and take that piece off and blah 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 as I said in other videos I need to get more brackets or if I could find a bracket that I could just swivel the camera on so one suction cup and just be able to swivel the camera around to whatever angle I want that'll all come in time So anyway, I think it's it's in there. I have to go, I think. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight containers and a little Volvo. Um, yeah, in there I need to go, but I need to go up through the terminal rather than go around this way. That gate was for something else. I don't know. Um, The other driver turned up, but he's after heading off. Uh, um, he headed off another direction, so I'd know where he's gone. Whether his container is in a different terminal or something, I don't know. Or whether he's after making a mistake, same as I did. Because I. We came out together and I thought he was coming up this way, but he went off a different direction. Anyway, we'll sort it eventually.
Right, get in. I'm just back around to where I got the Alpha Pass, but I can go in this way now, I think. Once I've my training done. Um, so it's just kind of um, just pictures on the screen and um, things like the, um, one showing you stopping at the stop sign and one showing you driving past the stop sign and we're asking which one is correct so if you get that much wrong you're in trouble Right, so I'll talk to you in a second. So I was going to the wrong number. Um, my info said terminal number 1742 and gate number 1718. So I was going to, f uh, following the signs for 1742. I thought go to terminal first and then I'll find the gate. But no, apparently, I just followed the signs for 1718 and that should get me to where I'm going hopefully so um, it's up here somewhere 1714 to 1720 yes that would be it Yep, 1718 is this way. 
Right, um, all loaded up and ready to go. I need to collect our, sorry, I have no um, paperwork or anything to collect. I must just take a picture of the seal and that and the temperature and whatever and um, see what the plan is then I don't know whether this one is going direct or via the UK I don't know yet Right, some poor lad had an upsy daisy. But that happens. Right, so I'm on my way. Turn right onto Kettle Day, then turn left. This one is going on the direct boat, which is handy. It didn't bother. Turn left onto Plinth Web, then take the slip road on the left. It didn't bother me either way, but um, the direct is handy, all right. Uh, so I assume that's shipping tonight at some stage. So just but two and a quarter hours or so down to Dunkirk and park up and wait for the boat. didn't make the light
the slip road on the left toward E34. Two lanes marked for um, turning left, but only you're only turning into the one lane. Watch a look if that's how they want to do it. or so from Dunkirk there now. Just come out to some roadworks. Just a small little section I know they're putting up a sign or something. Or putting in this foundation for a sign post or something. Should be past it in a couple of minutes. Yes, I know there's a bus beside me. 
This is the part of the video where I advertise a book that no one ever reads. Um, I actually do keep it up in the top shelf there, but um, I never look at it because if I need to look something up, um, I look it up in Google or whatever. So, um, yeah, no, if you know, you know. Um, Right, I am in Dunkirk, but I am waiting for details because there could be a change of plan. Um, the plan was to ship out of here, but apparently all a lot of the 
sailings are cancelled and stuff like that. Oops. Um, a lot of the sailings are cancelled because of bad weather incoming. So, um, put those back up there, and that's why that's why you keep that cupboard closed. Um, yeah, a lot of sailings are cancelling that because of the oncoming bad weather. So, um, there are decisions being made about shipping plans and when a plan is devised, I will be informed and let you know. Nice collection of stuff on this. That trailer. Toscana Classic. So um going on to the boat there now I the apparently a lot of uh, a lot of sailings and that were cancelled because of the inbound storm so um plans were changed and I am shipping Dunkirk to Dover. So just on the ship now, uh, I'll be parking up once I get, or just going on the ship now, and I'll be parking up in Motus and Dover because I'll be out of time, or nearly out of time. I um, I should get across and parked up in my time. I should be all right that way in my 15 hours. No problem, but um, I was told I was told to park there anyway if I wasn't going to be able to get to um, to our Tamworth yard. So um, even if I had shipped as soon as I came in or something like that, I wouldn't have time to get to Tamworth yard. So. I'd have been stopping in waters anyway.
right, so my uh, container adventures didn't last long. That's it, that's it going off there now with another driver. Traffic is fairly heavy. Um, actually, around the M25, around London, wasn't bad at all. It was the lead up to it, which was horrific. Um, to get from Dover to uh, Dartford took over two and a half hours. Should be somewhere between an hour and an hour and a half. And coming up the M1 now, and it's staying moving, but traffic is heavy. So, um, as you saw a while ago, I have changed from container work again. Um, the plan was for me to bring that into Ireland or whatever, but um, my planner yesterday evening realized that I did not have some card or pass or something that is required for delivery. So, um, she had to make a adjustment in the plan and I'm now back on a fridge. So, uh, swapped with him in Dover this morning. Um, his trailers back for Ireland as well. So heading up to Hollyhead, same as I was going to be doing anyway. So it makes no difference really. Um, but I didn't get the opportunity to show you around a container trailer. So I'll have to leave that till next time. Um, being told to do the whatever um, course or whatever I have to do to get the pass for the those deliveries as soon as I get back I think I can do it in the office or they can sort it out in the office whatever I know do I have to do anything or just employ you for it or what I don't know but um, I'll sort that when I get back to the office so I'll have it for future
Hello. I'm in Hollyhead with 20 minutes. Uh, just parked up in the lanes there now. Um, do not know how long I will be here. Excuse me. Uh, Star Magnus is hitting Ireland at the moment and coming this way, I think. Um, the ship I'm supposed to be going on is only landing in Dublin now, I think. So I has to unload and come back and whatever. And has to allow for the weather. So they don't know what time it will be sailing at. Um, I'm just hoping it will sail at some stage. And... That's about it. Um, this video was supposed to be something different, the bit of container work or whatever, but I only got from Antwerp to Dunkirk and across to Dover with that said container. So um, I had planned, well, I thought I'd be going in the long boat, so I thought I'd be um, parked up in Dunkirk for most of that day. When was that? Today, uh, Tuesday. Most of the day Tuesday, so I was going to show you the trailer, you know, how the um, container trailer, the twist locks and that, the gin set and whatever and take a few pictures stuff like that that was the plan but um as you saw the plan changed i shipped direct to uh dunkirk to dover and parked up there overnight and ended up swapping because i didn't have the gdp card so i just brought this trailer a uh, fridge trailer but ambient does post um, from Dover to Hollyhead today and as I say waiting for the ship um, it was very calm up to about the last hour and even at this there's the odd gust but it's not crazy windy yet and it's choppy but not crazy choppy like going along Colvin Bay and whatever it looked dead calm it's just getting so was that the calm before the storm is it on the way I don't know I'll just have to wait and see but um, while I'm waiting I might uh, make this video up and edit it and whatever and put it up so um thanks a million for watching uh i'll get um i'll get that container work again some other day so um i can show you then um and that's about it thanks a million for watching really appreciate the um comments and all that and thank you hope you enjoyed it